suppose you have a car and that means you can go to any destination of your choice you want to go to an airport you can you want to go to a shopping mall you can you want to go to a hospital you can you want to go for a trip you can right so which is enabling you what exactly is enabling you the car right the same way industry is always looking at technologies which can help them in multi dimensional way help them reduce the cost improve the efficiency and reduce the time thankfully we have something similar today but before i get to the topic let me ask you a question don't you think we all are blessed to be living in this era where we have all the tools which we need right i'm able to talk to you in a different space time while i am shooting this video in a different uh, you know space time and we all are connected right you can reach out to me after watching this video on linkedin or on whatsapp so we all are living in a beautiful in, in an amazing era now this era is going to become even better if our biological research into whatever we do okay biologist right becomes better becomes more efficient becomes more accurate i would say you know this is the real revolution which can happen so now let's get to the topic which is ai in biology so i'm not going to talk about ai in drug discovery only because that's a narrow part what if we could apply ai into everything probably editing this video also right okay so let's start with the top 10 companies startups in the biotech and life sciences segment which are which are using ai in their research so let's dive in and find out those top 10 companies globally number 1 will be deepmind now deep deepmind is a british company that is making headlines for ground breaking research in protein folding with alpha fold so this deepmind company is located in uk and they're doing some amazing work in the protein folding space now followed by that we also have the second company called as in silico medicine now be before i get to in silico medicine let me tell you about this fact that all these companies have some time back been there doing a traditional research also so it's not that they are doing their a startup which is only doing ai they may be a pharmaceutical company also right so we'll have to keep that also in mind so they may have plethora of data already and they are now using ai right so now coming to in silico medicine now this is a company focusing on the use of ai to accelerate drug discovery and developments so, okay so that is in silico medicine doing a great job there followed by that we have atomwise now atomwise is a company that is using ai to predict and design new drugs for various diseases so it is into predictive modeling the next which we have is recursion pharmaceutical so it is it is a pharmaceutical company that is using ai to discover new drugs for rare diseases now you can see rare diseases research is such a big billion dollar like 100 billion dollar market already and these companies know that if somehow they can crack it using computers done right they will be the biggest company ever in the history of mankind so yeah they're trying that right that's the recursion pharmaceutical next one which we have the fifth uh, startup which i have for you is benevolent ai now this company uses ai to analyze vast amount of scientific data to identify new drugs to target treatments and this company benevolent ai the best part is they are a data driven company i'm not saying the others are not but these are, they are a data first company and they're doing a real great job i have seen some of the um, you know research papers which they have published amazing work being done by benevolent ai now followed by that the sixth one which i have for you is biosymmetrics now biosymmetrics is a company that uses ai to analyze and interpret complex biological data for drug discovery and personalized medicine now you can see most of these uh, companies are right now in the into the drug discovery space right because disease is the biggest challenge humanity faces so all these companies are gravitating towards that but i think that there is a big chunk which they are missing out is agriculture where where ai should be applied okay so that's biosymmetrics a company which uses ai to analyze and interpret complex biological data for drug discovery and personalized medicine now followed by that the seventh one which i have for you is zymergen it's a company that uses ai to engineer microbes for various applications including drug discovery so again yeah it is drug discovery is one more thing but they are now having a different approach they are engineering the microbes for that right 
So that's a new thing which we should learn. Next, which we have is the eighth company which I have for you is Cyclica. Now this company is using AI to predict how the drugs will interact with the biological system. So they're not into drug discovery, they're into drug interaction, right? They're helping scientists to understand what can be the potential side effect of their drug, right? So basically, you know, when the drug discovery happens, then it goes into clinical trials, right? Even before it goes into clinical trials, what if we could polish it? What if we could fix it? And that's what Cyclica is doing. It is a company that is using AI to predict how the drugs will interact, what can be the adverse effect and avoid and prevent it beforehand, right? So that's Cyclica. Next, which we have is Verge Genomics. Now, Verge Genomics is using AI to identify new drug targets for neurodegenerative diseases. So you can see they are narrowing down to rare diseases, neurodegenerative diseases or microbes. So basically, these are all niche companies, right? But any one of these company at the moment, they're able to discover one drug also using AI the next one year. They are going to be a billion dollar company within seconds. That's the power of AI. So that's Virginomics I told you. Before that, I told you about Cyclica. So another very important uh, part of Cyclica, which I should, I think I should tell you is, so you see, they are trying to prevent risk of side effect, right? Actually, what they're trying to prevent is the cost which pharmaceutical companies incur in clinical trials. The biggest cost, which is 70 to 85% of the cost of the entire thing, goes into this human factor, wherein we have to go to multiple locations and conduct clinical research. And then there can be toxicology uh, studies, and then there can be side effects, and then the drug gets failed in the FDA, um, you know, clinical research. So that is where Cyclica is doing a great job. Now, the 10th one which I have for you is Engine Biosciences. Now, it is using AI to identify new drug targets and develop personalized therapies for various diseases. So, these were the 10 companies, companies which I shared with you. But this is not the only set of companies. You have many companies across the globe which are working on AI. I know biotech companies in Bangalore who are implementing AI into their research. I know pharmaceutical company in Ahmedabad and Himachal Pradesh who are doing this. I know pharmaceutical pharma bio comp biopharma company in Hyderabad which is doing this. And it is only a matter of time when you will see government jumping into this where because government is the biggest investor in the, into the biotech space as we speak, right? So you will see government implementing this. So actually, truly speaking, this particular scenario is like you know, you add Horlicks to milk, it energizes, right? So it is going to energize, it is going to synergize, it is going to revolutionize the entire space of biological research. But still, I would say one place where AI can play a major role apart from drug discovery is agriculture, right? And the next will be bioenergy development. So fossil fuel, pollution, next can be the, the pollution, um, I mean, uh, the environmental uh, problems which we are facing, using AI to solve that, right, create designing microbes which will go and eat the plastics. So this is where AI is going to take us. But my question to you is, what is stopping you from learning AI? Nothing, right? If these companies are doing research, then they're going to need manpower. And you can be that manpower, you can charge a premium. See, if you are a biotechnologist, there are so many biotechnologists, but if you are an AI ML researcher in biotechnology, you are probably one or, or ten among in the entire nation. So you, this economy works on a demand and supply gap. So if your demand is high, your chances of getting hired is faster, right? So that is why we are starting our AI ML in biology summer training program from 18th of uh, March 2024, it is going to be a 15 days, it's going to be a three months, and it is going to be a six months program. Now, under the 15 days, you will just get the training, but in the three months and six months, you're going to work on independent projects. So we have enlisted 11 projects, all details are given in the description. You can check, and we're going to add nine more, so going, there's going to be 20 projects. You can choose any one of them, and you can work in either the three months or the six months module, and you will get a work experience certificate from Biotechnica. Just to let you know that Biotechnica has got contracts from various organizations across the globe already, and we are doing research on AI, ML, and bioinformatics right inside Biotechnica. So instead of, now we are transitioning from a company which used to train students for research, 
Now we are actually doing research and using AI, ML and bioinformatics and we invite you to be a part of this revolution. More details about this is given in the description. Please go check it out and if you have any questions or queries, you can always write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. If you want to talk to my team, toll free at 1-800-1200-1818 or 080-509-7000. Remember, time is less. More people are going to jump into AI. If there is a big crowd, then again your demand will go down. So before anyone else does, do it because this trend is going to be the tradition of the industry. All the best.